So I'm about to do something very controversial. Some may even say it's unorthodox. I'd go so far as to say sacrilegious. Okay, maybe not. But in a time where everybody thinks it's better to make your tires bigger, I'm about to downgrade the size of my tires. So I wanted to make a video about overlanding, off-roading, and tire size. And one of the main reasons I want to do this is because I kind of feel like everybody thinks bigger is better. And I thought so too, until I had really big tires on my Discovery 2. And I mean, to be honest with you, it drove like crap. And you know, acceleration was terrible. Feels like I'm accelerating out of a hole anytime I try to go anywhere. Steering was okay, it wasn't a huge problem, but it did, it was very vague and kind of wandered. And then um, they were very noisy. They're a mud terrain tire, so they're supposed to be noisy. That's to be expected. But I really was not happy with the giant tires, other than one thing. Love the way that they looked. They look awesome. They really looked awesome. And I think that's why I, I think most people buy tires based on the way that the tires look. I mean, primarily. Bigger looks better, bigger looks cool. And I feel like we've all been sort of, <laughs> I don't know, influenced to think that bigger tires are gonna be better tires. But drivability with my, uh, my bigger tires, and these tires were 285-75 R16s, which works out to about a 33 by 12 and a half inch tire. They were Cooper Discover STT Pros. Really great tire, I mean, absolutely awesome tire. Uh, but again, I'm doing more highway driving than I expected. I'm doing more, I, I'm not rock crawling here. I mean, this is a Discovery, uh, it's not a Jeep, you know? And I'm actually staring at a Jeep right now and they always go massive tires. And I think Jeeps tend to go with like a minimum of a 37 inch tire because of the long wheelbase. You kind of have to bump up the tire size because you have such a big or such a long wheelbase. Whereas with the Discovery 100 inch wheelbase, you don't need a huge tire to achieve decent ground clearance. I decided I wanted to go with a smaller tire and I know it's very controversial. Nobody ever goes downsize on tires, or at least rarely. But that's what I did. Um, I went with a tall yet narrow tire. And the size I chose is a 235-85 R16, which is basically a pizza cutter, a very skinny tire. Um, and I chose this size because of the profile, less rolling resistance, the weight was a big factor, significant weight reduction going with this size tire over what I had before. And the other factor is they're slightly smaller in diameter, but not so small that I'm losing a lot of ground clearance. So it works out to they're 32 inches tall instead of 33. Uh, they're about nine, nine and a half inches wide, which is a significant difference in rolling resistance. And more importantly, the weight. These tires are 15 pounds lighter than the tires I had on before. And 15 pounds of unsprung weight can really be felt like really I can really feel it this this vehicle accelerates now it stops better it handles better it's quieter there are just so many advantages to going with a smaller tire and so few uh, downsides really I, I the only thing I'm losing number one the biggest factor is the cool factor they don't look cool I mean 
I'm still getting used to the way they look. They, they look a little goofy. I'm not going to lie. They look a little bit not quite awesome, but I'm getting used to it. I think if you had never seen my Discovery before and you're, you know, you'd seen it for the first time, you wouldn't probably think much of it. But because I'm so used to that big, wide mud tire, and now I'm looking at it with these skinny all-terrains, I just feel like I neutered my truck. It just looks like, it just looks wimpy. I can't think of a better way to put it. But as I get used to it, it's not so bad. Um, so that's one thing I lost is, is this sort of cool factor, vanity, pure vanity. Um, the other thing I lost is one inch of ground clearance, which I don't really think is significant. This thing has plenty of ground clearance. Now the advantages of going with this tire are enormous. Like I said, less rolling resistance, less weight, less unsprung weight. Um, they handle really well. It's just a, it's just a more civilized vehicle now. It just feels enjoyable to drive. Um, but off-road is an area where you think, well, a skinnier tire is going to be, you know, less advantageous than a wide tire. It just seems like that would be true. It is not at all true. In fact, I've off-roaded this one time and I'm now heading to the my little proving playground area. Uh, and I found these tires to be absolutely awesome off-road. And one of the reasons why a, a narrower tire can be an advantage in, in some terrain, not all, but here in the desert, you know, I'm mostly on dirt, rock, not a lot of sand, a little bit of sand, and it's usually coarse sand if I am on sand. Um, you have a narrower contact patch which actually creates a higher pressure for that contact patch. So when you have a wider tire, that weight gets distributed over the width of the tire. But we have a narrower tire, there's not as much horizontal spread of that weight. So you have more pressure in that contact patch, which I, you know, I read about that. It sounds good. It's all theory, I guess, until you actually go out and you know, take it in the dirt and see what happens. Well, that's what I did. And I found that, and man, these things are sticky. I mean, really sticky. I, there's a certain hill that I like to go up just to test things out. And I just it didn't, didn't slip a tire. It's very vertical and kind of loose. Went right up that hill like no problem. It was amazing. The other thing that I gained off road is I was able to take an inch of lift out of the truck. Now, that's also counterintuitive. Everybody thinks, go higher, higher, bigger lift. Well, actually, I'm of the mind to think that I would prefer the lowest lift possible for the largest tire, tallest tire possible. And the reason for that is you're raising your center of gravity when you lift your vehicle and it's gonna become more tippy. It's gonna have more roll through turns on the road. If you can if you can get it a little lower it's always better it just always works out better especially when you're carrying heavy loads on your roof uh just if you're not you know on go go gadget spring mode all super high the vehicle just handles better drives better it off roads better so anyway i took out one inch of lift and I went to a spot that I, I go to all the time. It's, it's a real opposing ruts and gets you very cross axled. And it's a good area for, you know, seeing your suspension flex and how much it flexes. And I was very surprised to see that area was actually washed out more than I'd ever seen it. So the ruts were deeper than they were when I'd previously done this with the, the larger tire. So I thought, all right, let's 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 see how these skinnies do going through this spot and it didn't lift a tire i have no idea why shorter tire less lift but it's as if i had more suspension travel i'm not sure exactly why that is but it was pretty amazing and i had no problem getting through that so that was great 
All right, so observations. After wheeling with the skinny tires, it's really hot outside, sweaty, disgusting. That's the first observation. The second one is airing up and down is a lot faster with the skinny tire. Totally obvious that it would be, but it's kind of nice. So I want to go over real quick the benefits of the skinny tire. Number one, drivability. It's just this vehicle is just so much more drivable with a with a narrower, slightly shorter tire. It's just it's a different vehicle. Number two, power. I mean, I just have a lot more power uh, because I'm not pushing 85 pounds anymore. I'm pushing something like 55, something like that. It's 15 pounds weight reduction per corner. Uh, Off-road capability is absolutely awesome. I, I was a little worried about that, but I'm finding that there's no problem at all. It's great. It's actually maybe better in a lot of ways. Um, road noise, not really related to the size. I'm using an all-terrain tire now. So road noise, road noise is greatly reduced over the mud terrain I had on before. Well, I, just, I feel like less drivetrain strain because of the reduced weight. Um, you know, you're not banging your diffs and your axles against as much weight when you're off-roading. So hopefully that translates to um, longer lasting drivetrain, less broken parts. The tire I chose is the Toyo Open Country AT3. And one of the primary reasons I chose this tire is because of the weight. It's significantly lighter than other tires in this all-terrain category. Uh, these tires weigh 44 pounds a piece, whereas something like a BF Goodrich KO2 weighs 50. Now, I know it's only six pounds, but the less unsprung weight you're pushing, the better. I also chose them because I like the tread pattern. The reviews were good. And of course I wanted to move to an all-terrain from the mud terrain just because I'm doing a lot more highway driving. So, so far I'm really happy with them. They're still an E-rated 10 ply tire. As you can probably tell every time I hit a bump, it'll knock your teeth out. And I'm running them at about 40 PSI. To conclude this, I see only one disadvantage to running the smaller tire and it's pure vanity. I, the truck just looks wimpier. It just does. Now part of that I think is due to my wheels and I'm going to change out my wheels for some steelies. Some good old fashioned steel wheels and I think that'll kind of make it look better. That'll sort of complete the look I'm going for with the green and the you know, the, the very utility look, utilitarian look. So when I switch out for the steel wheels, it'll look better. Those steel wheels will also be narrower, which I think will make the tire profile look slightly better. One thing to note, this is a Discovery 2, and all Discovery 2s come with 8-inch wide wheels. The 235-85 R16 is not recommended for an 8-inch wheel. The max recommended width for this tire is 7.5 inches. So places like Discount Tire, they won't mount them. I had to go to uh, an independent shop that would mount these tires, and the guy there said, hey, if it looks unsafe, I'm not gonna let you drive out of here. I'm not gonna mount the rest of your tires, and I agreed with him. So I bought one tire, had it mounted, and it looked fine and there was no safety issue i don't even think there'll be any wear issues it's very minimal we're talking about a quarter of an inch per side of the tire so it's pretty pretty minor but just know that if you want to go with this tire size and you have an eight inch wheel most of the big corporate tire shops are not going to work with you just for their own liability in conclusion from inside the truck, I think the skinny tire is awesome. It's superior, better in every way than the wider tire. From outside the truck, man, those wide tires just look better. I gotta admit, they just, they'd look better. But I feel like the trade-off is worth it to me. I feel like uh, function over fashion here. Function over fashion rules. And if it looks a little bit wimpy, whatever. 
it does really well on the trails and it does really well on the road so I'm happy with it and I'm gonna keep them and I may make some modifications to make them look a little bit better I have a few things in mind but if you like this video please click the little thumbs up button and if you're so inclined hit the subscribe button for more off-roading Land Rover type videos in the future thanks